This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. With multimedia becoming more accessible, it has become really quite straightforward now to add video files to your PowerPoint presentation and then play them during your PowerPoint show. We'll have a look at how we can add video files and alter those files even from within PowerPoint and then how to run them when you run your show. So the first thing is to get a video file into PowerPoint presentation. So we'll use our Italia presentation file and we need a new slide to add our video to. So a new slide. Now we can use one with a placeholder because the video option is available in the placeholder. So let's go with the big slide with the placeholder. From the placeholder options, it's the bottom left one, insert media clip. Then PowerPoint goes and browses your machine to find that video file. Now you'll notice here where it says video files, if you hover, you'll get all the possible video types that PowerPoint can handle. And there are quite a few. .mov, .mp4s, .wmvs, AVIs. So there's quite a few video types that are supported. And we're going to insert our one here called booking.avi and insert. Video appears in its original size. So this is the size the video was created in. And we can even play it on the slide by clicking the play button here. And pause if necessary. Or you can play it from the toolbar. This is the video tools toolbar only available because we have a video selected. If you click away, you'll find the play bar disappears and so does the video tool ribbon. One click back on, it comes back in. The video tools and format and there is a play button there, which is exactly the same as pressing the play button down here, as is the pause. So you can get a piece of video onto a slide. You can resize that video should you require, be a little bit careful about resizing videos larger than their actual original dimensions because you could lose some of the quality, but going smaller is fine. And we can reset any stage of the design and resize back up. Now we can also add videos onto a slide that doesn't have a placeholder for them. If we go back to home and let's have a blank slide, onto this blank slide we can insert a video by going to insert video and the choices are from file so from a file on your hard drive from a website or we can use a piece of clip art video which will be a small moving graphic from the clip art gallery or we want one from file takes us to our file system and we can add booking in again which is just the same as using the placeholder let's resize that over and go back to insert video from the clip art video. And you'll see that just like when you've used the clip art, the clip art gallery appears where you can put a search term in, but you'll find the selected media type is video only. But we could try a search for Italy in the videos. And we have this gondolier, one click. Now you'll find that most of the videos available through clip art aren't actually proper videos, but just animated GIFs. You can see at the top it says picture tools, format there's no play option because in reality it's not really a video it's just an animation if i close the clip gallery the only time you will see this animation play is in the slideshow so we'd have to run from here and then you can see the animation take place and escape so clip art videos are just small run animations whereas proper videos from your file system they are proper videos video tools and you get your video tools format and video tools playback and we'll look at these two tabs in a little more detail.